Where do you delineate where you want to use a script versus an automation? Mm -hmm. uh, for me, that's an easy one. Scripts hold reusable code for me. So yeah. um, let's say, so I used an example before about um, lights and being on the right uh, setting. Um, yeah. I would potentially have a script that would have turn on this light and inside the script I would have my uh, logic to work out what brightness that needs to be. So mm -hmm. that way I don't have to put the logic of what the brightness needs to be in a hundred automations. I can just put it in one script and have the hundred automations call that one script to work out, to make sure it's always on the right setting. Um, yeah. Similar thing on the lights sort of uh, thing. I have a, like a, when I want some accent lights or some hue color changing bulbs to randomly change color. Um, I have script for that. So light, I would have like a turn on light to a random color that would then go through a script. The reason I do yeah. that is because inside that script, I then also have logic that um, should it be a random color or depending on what state some things around the house are in. So for example, if my dishwasher is done, don't use a random color, turn the light to pink. Or if the washing machine is done, turn the light to green just so I yeah. have a, a central place where I can manage that logic. Does yeah. that make sense? Okay, so that, that's basically – so So the, the reason I asked is because I was actually having this conversation with somebody like two weeks ago maybe, mm -hmm. and they were like, well, where do I – Where? Do, cause they, and they're new to Home Assistant, right? And, and I, I kind of explained the same thing, right? Script is that piece of reusable reusable uh, logic, if you want to call yep. it, not necessarily code, reusable logic that you can call into other automations and, and so on. Um, I just didn't know if, if you had a better – delineation of where you use one versus the other, but it sounds like it's fairly similar, right. In terms of, uh, in terms of what I said and, and yeah, so I thought it was, uh, for, for me, again, I, I kind of described, it. I, I, I've literally only got a single script, right. But mm -hmm. I do call it in a couple of automations, right. So like, for example, my, it's my good evening script, right. So it's like turn yep. on these lights at this percent, those lights at that percent, whatever. And then from an automation perspective, I call that, Anytime it's it is good evening time, right? It'll automatically fire that off. Or like if I leave, it'll turn off some lights, and I come back in, it'll fire off all that good evening again, right? Um, but uh, but and the other thing too is scripts also will have a uh, it will keep your previously changed value there as well, right? So, uh, sorry, no, that's a scene. So scripts will scene, not do that. Yeah. Scripts will still fire off and, and force it to do that. But, um, and then, yeah, and then there's scenes as well, right? So it's, it's uh, it, which is, which will kind of keep those values and stuff. So, but I do, I do leverage a couple of things there, but it, it's for that reusability that I use it for. So it's, uh, I'm, I didn't know if other people use it for other stuff other than that. So, um, yeah, yeah. I, I think, yeah, for me, it's like reusability also, um, once again, going like based from programming terms, I use it for like as a function as well. Um, so cause scripts can take variables. So, um, I, for my, when I'm moving around the house, I have my Sonos speakers, you know, when I, when I move into a room, the Sonos speaker then compare, um, with the music that's playing in another room. Um, yeah. so instead of having, you know, an automation for each speaker to do that, I have one automation and depending on which room is then moved into, like it will go, okay, uh, the motion sensor in the living room was activated. So I will then call the script and I will tell the script, okay, the living room motion sensor was done um, and therefore you need to change the status of the living room play bar um, as opposed to the office, you know, Sonos one or whatever. That's actually pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. Um, That's a good use for a script there too. Hmm. Because, yeah, I, I think scripts are really powerful. Like the whole idea yeah. being like if I'm going to do the same code in two automations, I may as well externalize it into a script and take the variables, uh, pass them down into, yeah. A, yeah. Yeah. into it that way. Um, and, sorry, I'm going to give you one more example just because, you know, I'm yeah. a very nice guy. All right, I'll, I'll give it to you. Um, if you've got tags, like, you know, like an ESP home yeah. and you want um, some yeah. NFC tags to scan, if you want to create like a jukebox for either TV or music, um, right. you could then have that as a script and then have um, all the variables. So depending on which uh, ESP home device was 
use the scan. You could, all right, if this ESP home device was scanned, um, I want it to play music on this speaker or this TV show on this TV. Um, yeah. That would be another good use case for a script. Yeah, yeah. And, and or even for playing this, the, the actual content, right, that can be the variable there and then yeah. everything else stays static, right? So Yeah. Because yeah, the script, uh, you could have like multiple variables. Like you can have, you know, it would just, exactly. yeah. Um, there are so many ways to skin a cat in Home Assistant, and I guarantee you there are, you know, you could do, yeah. you don't need to use scripts. You could do it in automations. Um, you could do it in Node.js if you really wanted to. Sorry, not Node.js. Um, uh, Node Red. Node Red, thank you. God, too yep. many nodes. <laughs> know, but yes, there you go. Yeah, no, that's cool. Um, 